Alfred, I want you to contact the GCPD. See if you can get some information about Selena Kyle's IP address. For some reason, she's using Wayne Tech's unlaunched device, which is using quantum cryptology to bounce off all my signals, making it impossible for me to track her. The last cracked one was in the GCPD. See if you can get the roots of it. See if you can get her IP address. I'll get inside, get some pictures, and we'll be out of there in no time, Alfred. What? Uh, uh. Alfred, because uh, because uh, the the the, uh, the pictures, Alfred, are for for science, Alfred. The the uh, 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 for to be specific, biology, because <laughs> it's a branch after all. <laughs> yeah, Alfred. Uh, I'm not in the cave, but this is for, to train the bat. Uh, for the cave, <laughs> so we get a good, good, good landing when you're using the bad thing, Alfred. Shit. That's the intro. Yeah, so welcome to the fifth episode of how did it evolve. It's been a long time. It's kind of crazy how long it has been since we've done one of these. And believe it or not, I think in the last HDI video I made, I wore the same shirt. So that's a coincidence and uh, that's interesting. Anyways, uh, today we have a really, really epic topic. Yes, epic topic to talk about. It's uh, called quadraphonic headphones. The technology is called quadraphonic headphones. And I hope you enjoy the intro as well. Because uh, when 2014 started, I, m I made a pledge that I'm going to put shit loads of time into my videos. Uh, because generally what I did was, you know, filmed it like that day and uploaded that day. I'm not gonna do that. In two months, I'm gonna get a better tripod. I'm gonna spend like $200 on a tripod uh, and also get a good lens so that, you know, all is in the works. You guys have to bear with me, but till then we got, you know, all the knowledge to cover, uh, you know, and two months will pass like nothing. Anyways, quadraphonic headphones. The, when, when you think about the word quad, what comes in mind? Four, right? And that, that, that 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 movement was uncalled for anyways uh four comes in mind and quadraphonic headphones are a really interesting technology they they started off in 1973 and they kind of ended in 1978 it's a technology which did not last for you know a long time but it was there it was certainly there but it did not it did not last um <clears throat> for a relatively long time and that's kind of interesting because i think this technology had some potential in it but it, you know, just did not last. But the reason it did not last is because of us, because of the mankind, the greedy freaking mankind. We're stopping technological innovations because of their freaking patterns and stuff like that. And that has, you know, just stopped everything. So let's talk about quadraphonic huh? and how it is different from similar technologies like binaural or, you know, dummy head recording or even stereo, you know, for that matter, or Dolby 5.1.7.1 and stuff. Quadraphonic headphones use two drivers on either cup. So you get four drivers in total. Now it's obvious. When you get four drivers, you get two leads. You get two stereo plugs. Two stereo plugs. You know, we don't have computers with two stereo plugs. There's only one headphone jack. How can we have two? People may think, oh my God, you know, we can do this. We can take, uh, you know, a splitter and just make it one with four leads. But there are no four leads. There are three leads. And even three leads has one for microphone, headset, and the remote control. That's iPod. And only specific ones have that. Some mobile phones have that. So there are nothing, there's no four lead connectors and at that time just forget about it. So you need, a, you need a specific quadraphonic amplifier to amplify the signal. So it was not stereo, it was quadraphonic. It was a different type of technology used, a different, different standard. Let's forget about stereo, let's, let's make, a, you know, make it a new standard, quadraphonic. And that's how it you know, really started. For quadraphonic there were some requirements, you needed you know, quadraphonic LPs, vinyl that is you needed some records which were quadraphonic uh, recorded uh, you also needed a quadraphonic cartridge if you're using vinyl at that time cds i don't think were a thing or were they i don't know but uh, people used vinyl so you needed quadraphonic vinyl no cds were not there i'm sorry quadraphonic vinyls which has started the dispute between these uh the, these companies and patent and you know infringement and stuff uh so you know that's because of the lps also some uh some other stuff and if, if you're using speakers and you know four speakers but that doesn't make sense because quadraphonic technology was to get 
a speaker like experience on a headphone without using binaural recording but using a quadraphonic record recording not even a stereo recording a quadraphonic recording so you get four channels within which are four different recordings two having two stereo that is you know in two stereos in general uh, recording which gives you a more kind of a surround effect now I have never tried quadraphonic but quadraphonic believe it or not many recordings many Indian old classical recordings were all quadraphonic and I was surprised myself because uh, I recently saw a picture of, uh, of an Indian composer he was wearing quadraphonic headphones and it was really recent if, if I found that picture, the picture in the video you can, you'll see right now I don't know if you can see but if I find then that'll be there if, if not then I'm sorry but you know that guy he was wearing a quadraphonic headphone I was like really surprised but that you know that's obviously because of how famous it was and now how it you know could have evolved but it did not so quadraphonic headphones are really really interesting and uh, I was a really big fan of the technology I, I would have liked you know it to last for a long time but it did not compared to binaural binaural is using a dummy head and you know a dummy head is you know taking place of our of our of our years and recording stuff but binaural I don't think will ever able to, you know will ever be able to give you a, a fidelity a stereo recording can give you it's just not gonna happen can does some binaural recording which are pretty good but there was a stereo plus binaural mix so I don't think um, binaural is the future I, I do think quadraphonic is the future but you know that's something which has not lasted and something which is not gonna last for a long time really recently Do uh, Trident if you know the company the gaming headset company they launched a headphone headset gaming headset which is having similar uh, which is having five speakers, I think three speakers, that's having six speakers or two speakers, I don't know. I think yeah, six speakers in general, which is not quadraphonic, but is, you know, based upon that thing. So you get 5.1 channel analog digital Dolby audio, um, which, which they use. They use, uh, you know, a, a, a DSP, which is, you know, converting all of that signals and all of those uh, leads to one box, which was doing all the processing. And then you, you get the analog audio through your headphones, which is you know really interesting. But again, that was something which did not became that famous because most of the recordings or most of the games were not quadraphonic. So it was kind of a dead end technology. So you get you got six stereo channels, all muted down. So you know it was more of a subconscious thing or you know more of a placebo thing more than a real thing. So that's that's how it really worked out to be for Trident. I think it's a very interesting technology. If you, if you want more information, check the description. Um, because I don't, I don't learn stuff from Wikipedia and just ramble stuff. I just, you know, this is my own knowledge, my own extrapolation of things, and telling you guys because that's what tech agent is all about. We give you raw knowledge which nobody will ever give you. It's all my opinion. It's all my knowledge, and I'm sharing it, you know, with you all guys, the internet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. Tech agent is back. It's been a really busy Jan for me starting. Uh, it, it, it's always a busy Jan for me, but this time it's been you know, kind of busy. Uh, I'll be making more videos soon. I'm um, kind of stuck right now, you know, in what to review. I have some products to review, but those really don't match up my expectations. The stuff I review on channel. So if you want to see all of those, I'll, you know, I'll comment down below. Just let me know if you want to see that video or not. I'll make, uh, if you want, I'll make. If you, if you don't, you know, I'll not make it. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the intro. I hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, everything. I hope you enjoyed CES 2014. I think it was really good. 4K, 4K everywhere. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, this was the fifth episode. I'll be continuing the series because I think this is a wonderful series. You get a, you get a lot of knowledge, uh, you know, you know, not not a lot of time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. Have a good one.